Hey guys, what is going on? Colts vs Packers and this was a great game. I think we all knew this was going to be one of the best games of the week. So this was a high scoring fun game but the MVP of this game has to be Rodrigo Blankenship. Respect the specs. The second half of this game is when the Colts really made their comeback and started to play well. Green Bay's offense wasn't really doing anything, but in the second half, Rodrigo Blankenship had three field goals. The Colts also scored a touchdown, but Rodrigo's three field goals were obviously really important to this game in allowing the Colts to get that lead. And then obviously he gets the super clutch game winning field goal in overtime. Yes, Rodrigo did miss a field goal tonight, but it was like the best miss. You know what I mean? It just hit the bottom of the crossbar. It, it looked like it was in, it looked like it was in, but it just hit the bottom of the crossbar. But listen, he made the field goals, when it mattered. I mean, the end of this game was just crazy. So you have the Packers going for it on fourth down. They don't convert. Then the Colts get the ball back. And then there's all these penalties, like all these holding calls and just flags and things really didn't seem to be working for the Colts. And then there was the review to see if Philip Rivers fumbled the ball or if it was a forward pass. Turns out it was a forward pass and then it was poured down and then they punted it. Aaron Rodgers was like, oh, you're giving me the ball back with just over a minute left and I have the ball at the six yard line. Oh, that's fine, that's fine. So they drive down the field, a huge play to Valdez Scandling. And then they're in the red zone, but they end up going for the field goal because there were seven seconds left. I don't know, maybe they could have gone for the touchdown there, but you wanna play it safe and make sure you get to overtime. Then to start overtime, the Packers have the ball. It seems like they have all the momentum. And then Valdez Scanling, despite his great play at the end of the fourth quarter, fumbles the ball. And that really cost the Packers the game because then the Colts basically got the ball with infield goal range and that just ended the game. I felt so bad for Valdez Scanling though. He just looked so upset on the sideline. Uh, I just feel bad for that guy. You gotta feel bad for him. That's just, that's really tough. Honestly, this was the first full Colts game I've watched this year. And I know Phillip Rivers was a little injured but he played really well for, you know, how old this guy is. He can still throw the ball. Also for the Colts, Jonathan Taylor had like a bounce back game today. So that's obviously good to see the rookie running back. He didn't get 100 yards today. I think he got just around 80 or something, 80 yards rushing. So it was good to see him bounce back. And another rookie, Michael Pittman Jr., who was injured earlier this year, had a touchdown, had a pretty good game. And of course, if I'm talking about the Colts rookies, I gotta talk about Julian Blackman, the safety, who's had a really great year and forced that fumble in overtime. So yeah, he's just been having a really good year. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Make sure you drop a like, comment down below, and subscribe. Peace out.